again, it's just it's just wild to think about how drastically the scene has changed in the last five years, even. Yeah, but what's great is that we have uh, competitions for people of all stripes, all that's capabilities. True. You know, we got we were talking earlier about the DAS Championship that's going to be held at the Portland Retro Gaming Convention. Yeah. I think that's great that they will still have a huge tournament there. And uh, speaking of the tournament, we've just started it up. But yeah, the Jonas Neubauer Cup. I mean, if the if the J if the J Trophy was not a fitting enough tribute, I mean, this is certainly something. That yeah, that's a little Oop bit of traffic is, for Oop. Yeah, starting out with uh, a bit of a Swiss cheese board there. Um, Opox very clean gets the square exactly when he needed it to fill that gap. Um, but even though he didn't end up Swiss cheese, he was ending up spiry. So yeah, it was it, he needed it right then, or else it could have gotten a little bad. But it's but still early game for sure. But e even you can see that that was a difficult sequence, even though the difficulty manifested on those boards in different ways. Mm. Not oh. too heavy on the lines, but you know. Oh, nice a, adjustment ooh, by Oop there absolutely. to make the board real flat and clean. That was very satisfying last second adjustment. The, the, that's something I've, I've noticed when uh, we're commentating that uh, he he notices them in other people. So yeah, you can definitely see that that's something that he watches for in his own play a great deal. Ooh, tiny, tiny, tiny hole, but should Cleans be it up able. Perfect. Yeah, that's oh, a yeah. nice clean and. Nice uh, trim. What do they call that? A uh, top flat burn. Yeah, yeah. And um, then, uh, and then, and then the wall transfer. Opox still uh, running slightly ahead, uh, and also behind online. So significant, pa uh, you know, potentially quite significant pace lead, but really good flat on both sides. Nice Ooh. spin tuck. Absolutely. And open for business. Yeah. Oh, got a little... Oh, nice. Op Opox cleaning up that left side, but is getting a little a valley-ish. Um, but got the right piece to clean it up in time. I mean, and you want to make sure that you're only... You, you don't want to end up with double line dependencies, no. even at this level. Yeah, yeah. Very, very Ooh, big. Quite high up there for... Oop can get the right piece to... There Let's it take is. the veil. Yeah, there it is. And there we go. And uh, boom. Tetris. Oh, boom the Vits right set back. up? Are we going to get the Vits? Uh, I mean, o Oop's going to try it. Getting the... Oh. Oh. Good cleanup on that. It wasn't coming, and he knew when to take the loss, and... Very satisfying. The, sometimes the vits just isn't worth it. But, yeah, you know, and it was still very, very satisfying to see that triple. Mm -hmm. uh, that triple worked out really well. I mean, if you can't get a full Tetris, a triple is still, you know, a worthwhile amount of points to aim for. Oh, nice spin nice. tuck again. Absolutely, some some real high level technical play for Move. Yeah, he started out a little. With little troubles, but really his gameplay is Ooh. on point right now. S slightly nerve-wracking height for Opox at this point. Some aggressive survival. Let's see if uh, Oop can capitalize on, on that dig. A little bit droughted. And Opox gets what he needs. That was... Nice. Oh, Opox. Oh. Pox. Oh, this is tight. Right, not this getting the tight. pieces he needs right now. We we need a we need a bail okay. right now. Right now. Oh, get that bar. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh no. Oh, perfect. Okay, he's got the piece he needs. Get the right side. And oop triples oh, to bring wow. the board it's back under control. Constantly a struggle back and forth, but I think he can. Yep, he's finally out. Finally out. Good job on that. Opox had some insane survival up yeah, top. That was impressive to watch, for sure. I mean, both players were engaged in uh, different manifestations of the same sequence dig. Uh, dirty, dirty set up. Dirty achieved. Clean, um, 
Only about three Tetrises behind. He's so gonna go for another dirty. Looks same mate, pace. Yes. Oop is going for the column three Tetris. And it works out for him. And now transferring the well very sleekly. Um, uh, Opox is taking the opportunity to achieve a, a 90,000 point lead at this point. About mm. four, four Tetrises or so. It's a v v v very right. long double well on Oop's side yeah. there. And we are 10 lines away from transition. Um, and since, uh, you know, we started at 18, I mean, some of the other Oop, players Oop, we've Oop had... going real aggressive there. Oh, we got a T in the wrong spot there. Not what you want to have happen during transition. Yeah, Oop, um, Oop has some difficult choices right now. Can Oop he can take this? one burn to open it? No, he can't. Oh, it's 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 gonna be it's gonna he be needs messy. Needs the right pieces. Doesn't. Oh, Ooh, that's tough. And that will do it for Oop. And yeah, Opox, Opox takes game takes one. Game one. It was interesting to see how the same difficult sequence of pieces again, uh, when Opox had the high survival dig. And Oop was dealing with a little bit more Swiss cheese lower down. Mm. Like, you, you could see both of them going through a very painful moment. Yeah, I was, I was, my attention was drawn towards Opox. I wasn't seeing Oop at that time. Mm -hmm. um, was he, he was down and far on the board, he, but he, basically he just constantly full. fighting it? it? It wasn't quite a full on alternating bird shelf situation, mm. but there was a bit of, uh, there was a bit of traffic. Mm. All right, so about ready for game two. Uh, game two. Two. Game two. Wow, that was that that was all game one, I do believe. All right. Are we ready? We're about ready. We'll do a countdown. Three, two, one. Tetris. Here it is. So Oop was telling me earlier that he's practicing modern Tetris and the openers. Mm. That's not something I've ever studied, um, but I'm sort of curious if he applies that to classic Tetris, if there's um, well, so th openers that vary that are different between modern and classic? Well, so the thing that makes... Well, uh, I mean, the, the seven-bag randomization where you're guaranteed to uh, have at most a 13-piece gap between eyepieces and just the the other aspects of consistency that come from the seven-bag, that's what really enables openers, is my right. understanding. I, 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 was, I was into 99 for a bit when that, when that had come out earlier, and... Mm. Uh, I, I believe it was a Spirit Vet who introduced me to the DT Cannon opener, uh, where yeah. you, you build up for two <laughs> Tetrises. You, you, you hold one, and you build up for two Tetrises uh, back to back relatively early on, uh, and also the height the height of the stack in '99 mm. is one of the things that triggers. Uh, auto targeting, which is how most people do the targeting. Oh, so you want your stack higher? Well, be because then you get targeted more because people try and take you out. But then, and then you fight back. While you're being targeted more, you can score uh, more because more people are coming after you. Mm. Uh, so if you can get the DT off while you're already at a high stack and then capitalize on that momentum, right? Uh, it can be a pretty strong, pretty strong move. Uh, Oop had a little bit of a, uh, a roof going on, but got out of that like it was nothing. Yeah, very, very clean, both of these players, with just only minor, you know, adjustments that they need to make to keep the board clean. But mm -hmm. and uh, Oop, we need Oop to actually uh, had the lead for a second there, uh, more more substantially. Opox taking it back. Not the best pieces, just unfortunate situation for Oop here, having to cause to. Um, that one blank hole there, so even this is a triple, not a Tetris, and just these squares and I mean, not it, the pieces you need at this moment in time. I mean, oh. you, you really want, oh, oh you, wow, L LJ confusions or just 
the yeah. game not oh, giving him what he needs. Just, yeah. Nice job there. Can we recover? It, it oh. would be it would be exceptionally impressive. I think that's gonna do it. Yeah. I um, think that's gonna do it. All right. Well, that's game two there. An unfortunate just one misplacement there that led into a bunch of really really bad RNG. Like that that was. That was not any serious fault on Oops' part. No, it's there. true. Like that, like um, at that height, things are survivable if you get any cooperation with yeah. the pieces that you need. But you know, getting the wrong side of the LJ that many times in a row. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Unfortunate. Not, 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 not how you want to go out. But you know, uh, one, one more. Three, two, one. Tetris. All right, so Opox. You know, you know one thing that we haven't been doing, and maybe we can uh, make these players feel a little good with some quite loud booms. I'm, um, I'm about it. Let's uh, channel our inner Chris, Chris Tang, Tang. <laughs> and, uh, and make this happen. And um, let's see. Both players are ready. And boom! boom Tetris, Tetris for Oop. Oop! There we go. All right. Let's make that happen. And, and boom, back to back. Oh wow! Opox, I took. I thought he was gonna clean some stuff up, but he took a interesting piece placement that did not lean into the what I thought he would do if he got a Tetris. Um, yeah, Tetris still waiting for him down there, and there it is, and boom! boom. Tetris, Tetris for, for Opox. There it is. All right. Uh, we got a dirty potentially incoming. Is he gonna? No, he went for the triple. Opox. Uh, uh, Oop did. And uh, but but he's getting he, oh he he's uh, where is this modern Tetris? Not modern, not <laughs> modern, not modern. <laughs> uh, okay, decides to play it safe, cleans it up. Now there's the dirty. Can he get the line bar at in time? Let's okay, good cleaning up, but we really need that line bar. Opox gets another Tetris, and there's there it is for oop. good adjustment there. 40,000 ahead for Opox. Nice. Oop, cleaning his board up real tight, looking sleek. Uh, nice. Got the piece when he needed it there, and now uh, he just needs to get that slope back. That um, Opox is ag aggressively sloped at this point. Yeah, he's doing a good job of keeping that slope alive. Um, Oop, keep slope got, alive. Yeah, now both of them keep slope alive. And now Oop, Oop has got that nice slope, too. That's uh, really helping out. With Opox, the, oh. is, Opox is possibly in a little bit of trouble, but there it is. There it is. And Tetris is all around. Right, can't get a Tetris. The next one for Oop. Oh, and he's, the, he's uh, got that. Uh, Opox needs slightly better RNG or slightly more conservative. Cleans that emotions. up very fast. He did get that, that helpful RNG. Uh, you just spoke about that. That really happened real fast with uh, the L or the J. I don't know which one that was. Um, and Oop. Uh, and now we left transfer the well. well. Oh, there it is. Only about three Tetrises behind. And boom, Tetris for Oop. And boom, Tetris for Oop. Come back and forth. It's always interesting when you when you see the sort of extended double well where they're keeping actually like two columns free for mm. a very long time. Like I have to ask at some point, like you know, if the math is easier to keep a stack at eight rather than nine. I guess it would have to be. Hmm. Um. That's a good question. I'm not. I'm not sure how much easier it it. Probably more like a mindset thing than, mm -hmm. than actual easy, just like keeping your brain in that uh, mindset to place it that way. Because I know for me, oftentimes I do, you know, keeping that double well is important in some ways, but sometimes you just don't want it. Mm -hmm. So, oh, we got a high up Vitz setup. Okay, I smart move for Oop just to sort of it's play safe. He could have gone risky. Well, he's able shelves. to clean it up got again. Shelves. Oh. Exactly, but he's cleaning it up like a master. Oh, wow. Um, very, very good cleanup there. Efficiently done, and uh, Opox. Opox doing the double well. Really working out for him well. 
that 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 two piece that two piece uh, setup to get Tetris ready though. That's that's the kind of things you want to be able to convert yeah. the double well into very quickly. No, so you're gonna see some more oh, high level Opox survival. Is getting a little Swiss cheese. Ooh, this could this get is... out of hand very fast with the wrong pieces. Um, that's some extremely okay. Got the survival. Yeah, really, <sighs> very close. So very close to a problem could here. Hang. Yeah, it needs the LRJ. LRJ. Oh, 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 too late. Oh wait, is it? Is it's it too late? Uh, and is that, does Oop, and Oop, has, Oop is, it? has it just by 2,000 points, Ooh. not even a chase down. Wow. That was just really. And the momentum, the momentum, yeah. the momentum begins to shift. <laughs> All right. So it's now 2-1. And Oop has a chance to, uh, two, come back one. here. Game. Rolling three, right in. Uh, game, game four. Game four, yes. All right. Oh, wow. All, right off the bat, Opox with an interesting setup there. Um, I don't... I didn't see how that started out, but that was uh, well, I mean, an interesting Oop, opener. Oop, Oop has also ended up in a ve very... You know, he, he just wants to start digging. Maybe this is a tree strat going on here. I'm sorry? <laughs> so, so, so in the Tetris speed runs, they build up... Oh, uh, a tree strat. Yes, a, a tree. Yes. To... I'll, I'll play. I'll play. That was uh, my dumb audience question because. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course I knew where that was. I was pretending I didn't know for the audience. Of course, of course. I was the one who asked that. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah. So, so the tree strat. Yeah. If you're trying to uh, speed run. If you're right? trying to speed run exactly. in a Tetris yeah. situation, you will build up so that your your floor effectively is higher. Yes. In this, in this, in uh, so that you can build through levels more quickly. So uh, that can get you an advantage in when you're going for speed. Uh, so that right. I is that what happened with with, with with Oop? I don't think so. No. But, you know, one hundred percent no. But we've now told the audience something during that period of the play when it's so early that you have nothing to talk about. However, we do have something to talk about now because mm -hmm. Oop is in cleanup mode, uh, but uh, just as I say it, he's now out of it. Uh, it is um, definitely back to some solid play there by Oop. It was uh, getting pretty high. He could have ended up like Opox did last round, or last um, game. Oh, so, oh, oh, I, mean, I mean, what's happened here, though, oh, is no. Opox oh, has no. uh, one oh, misplacement, please, and please. it just totally spiraled. Uh. Wow. That was really... Not what you want to see. And that's 3-1 to Opox. Ooh. It's crazy how quick you, you can go from being safe to being in danger to being mm -hmm. safe to topping out. You, you just flip back and forth and back and forth. That's, the, that's what Tetris is like. It's just a, it's a merciless game. Just like life in so many ways. <laughs> Uh, but no, especially in you know NES Tetris before the the seven bag randomization, there's just yeah. no guarantees, no safety net. You're you're out there, and it's coming. Yeah. Uh, I believe the next. Uh, oh, it's next now setup, me. It's uh, I, Dan. There's a lot of losers that have to play each other, and I'm I did not know that when I started to play. All right, well I will depart and be back at some point. Looking forward to seeing you back.